Hi everybody! Happy Wellness Wednesday! Healthy by Kiona, Wellness Wednesday. We are back. Now in our Yes We Can Life group, there were some discussions last week that actually related to the cortisol that I went over here on this channel last week because we had some questions about upside down cortisol levels and we got into a little discussion about blue blocking glasses. So we are going to talk more about that today because my comment was I have three pair of blue blockers. So I was going to go into a little bit of the how and the why I have all of those as well as the how and the why to even bother buying these things at all. Don't forget, we're always looking for new topics, so comment below or let me know what you're looking for. Of course, if you haven't already, make sure and like this video and subscribe to my channel. Now, where in the heck has this idea of blue blockers even come from? The main place is from the idea of how the body works naturally. There's a couple different things that we can think about here when we're looking at blue light. Number one, you want to think about eye strain. There are plenty of people who talk about eye strain from using computers, cell phones, tablets, things of that nature for extended period of time. Some of the studies that are out there in the optometry world have shown that people who use a screen more than six hours a day, and let's face it, Almost all of us that have an office job, we're staring at a screen for at least six hours a day. There have been some studies that really show eye strain can be a problem. Part of that is related with the blue light that the screens give off. Now, the American Optometry Association has not officially endorsed that. However, many optometrists in general practice have actually found that to be the case. So for me personally, part of why I started getting my very first pair of blue blockers was because of the fact that they had installed all new high efficiency fluorescent lighting in my office building and the light was a lot more blue than what we had been sitting under previously. I also had no access to natural daylight. I was isolated from windows in the center of the building so I couldn't get any natural daylight. I was actually having headaches very early on as I started my job there because I was so used to being able to drive around working with my wellness clients for hours and hours and hours a day. I was not used to being under artificial light. So that made a big difference for me, just getting out and getting a break. But over the years, that still wasn't enough. And I really noticed that it built up over time that I was getting more and more headaches, I was getting more stress, I couldn't focus and things like that. So my first pair of blue blocking glasses was really just because at least one more of my coworkers, maybe two, had gotten some. They were super simple, they were not super expensive. I know you can spend quite a bit of money on blue blocking sunglasses. I wasn't that convinced, so I didn't want to spend a lot. I actually got them for Christmas, they were a gift, and I think they were under 20 bucks. But they were very cute, and they had really cool leopard print frames. Many of you guys know I am a big fan of leopard print. So that was my first pair and they worked really well. I would eventually sometimes get tired of just wearing them on my face all day and so I'd cycle on and off of them. Eventually I got moved closer to a window so the need for them went down tremendously. I also got a full spectrum daylight bulb to help with that as well. All of that was great. So when this pandemic hit, I didn't think too much about it. Plus I knew that my home office was in a room full of natural daylight so I didn't bother bringing my blue blocking glasses home which leads me to why I now own two more pair. I was looking at some other videos and some articles about hormone levels and hormone balance. And you guys know that I really started kind of getting into this. That's part of why I actually started these Wellness Wednesdays. In late spring, early summer, I know the Wellness Wednesdays didn't quite start then, but I did start getting into that and some of the other lives on my regular Facebook page have some information on different hormone levels. As I started researching this, I really started looking into melatonin levels as well as some of our cortisol and stress hormone levels. And there are many studies, and you can even find this on WebMD and in a lot of medical studies, how blue light that is emitted, especially from 
LED lighting, which is much more energy efficient, which we love. Fluorescent lighting as opposed to incandescent. This is all fantastic for us as far as energy is concerned, but it does start to mess with your hormones. How many of you guys have ever gone camping before? And you notice that you are such a night owl in your day-to-day -day life. If you're like me, you're up all the time. You don't go to sleep before midnight. If you're lucky, you always got more energy later in the day. It's so hard to wake up in the morning. Then all of a sudden you go camping and you're not exposed to artificial light of any kind. You're out. I used to go in the summer with my husband on the beach all the time. And man, it would get to like 9.30 and I was ready for bed. Part of that was because when the sun came up, that tent got hot and we had to be up. But part of it was the light. Natural daylight has blue light in it, of course. We know we get sunburn from ultraviolet. It's got all the colors in it. But as the sun starts to set, the colors that come up into our lighting are the golden colors, the darker colors. Those blue lights start to get dimmed down as they come into cloud cover. So what happens is at dusk, we start getting yellow lighting. And that is where a yellow set of blue blocking glasses can make a big difference. So as stress levels, especially with this pandemic, really started being a problem and affecting my sleep, I knew I was getting tons of natural daylight during the day, but then I would stay up editing videos for you guys later and I still couldn't fall asleep. And I was so missing my yellow glasses that I left at my office, but wasn't really worth the time to drive back and forth, the forms that had to be filled out and the risks and all that stuff just to pick up a pair of glasses when another pair would cost me 20 bucks. Again, I don't spend a lot of money on these and I find they work fine. You can absolutely spend more. Those glasses are more nicely calibrated for exact wavelengths of light. So that's what I started doing to really make a difference. Now, at the end of my work day, once I'm done with you guys, I will put these on and they help me unwind. But some of the other information that I saw, and think about it, if you're out at night, does it get dark when the sun goes down? No! It gets dusk, so you've got this yellow golden light, and then over time, it gets darker and darker and darker, and that darkness takes a good hour once the sun has set to really set in, which is one of the reasons why a lot of those studies that look at your melatonin levels tell you that last hour of the day is crucial. Now, if you're bad like me, you don't want to give up that hour of screen time. So here's the reason why a darker set of blue blocking glasses can really make a big difference. So what I like to do is, especially when I'm really paying attention to what I'm doing with my day and what my time is going to be like, I will put these glasses on. And let me tell you, the world is a really interesting experience through these glasses because everything really is kind of orange and a little bit more vivid. So certain things, like if you're looking at blue, purple is an amazingly different color through these type of glasses. So I don't really recommend to wear them for more than an hour because it can get a little trippy and that can start to have effects as well in your trusting your ability to notice color, but they really can make a difference. And I definitely notice when I take them off at the end of the night to wash my face and take my shower or things of that nature, I definitely feel that my, my system kind of goes just a little bit more. So that is the reason why I have three pair of blue blocking glasses, two of the yellow pairs, both of which for the most part have similar reasoning for them and then this nice orange slash amber pair that really helps me unwind for the end of my day. All right, you guys, what do you think? Makes sense? What topics do you want to go over for next week's Healthy by Kiona Wellness Wednesday? I don't have any ideas right now and I'm always looking for suggestions from you guys. Don't forget, like the video and subscribe to the pages and the channels. And in the meantime, I'm Kiona Leah. I want to see you guys move, live, and thrive. So I will see you on the next one.